All right, couple clips. So these first couple are from a couple years back when we were running it more out of when we were running more out of a ten person all spread look. So uh, we were cracking with our uh, number two here on that force defender instead. We were sticking number one on the corner, and then our super backs just getting up for uh, outside backer safety for most dangerous defender, and then we reached this uh, defense event by himself. But we see we get a great crack here from our number two <clears throat> that seals it. And then the other big thing is outstanding blocking on the edge by your X receivers. Um, we eliminated having to be really good at that necessarily because now if we're running out of the single, this is uh, you know, 11 or 21 personnel, we're just cracking with that X receiver. But you'll see all these jet plays that go, we have great blocking on the edge by our wide receivers. It's something we do spend a lot of time in, take a lot of pride in our wide receivers. And so this play goes only because we get great blocking on there. Coach, have the new crack rules, have they affected how you teach this at all? Yeah, like so most and recently, and that one's probably a little bit close. Again, this was like four years ago, five years ago, but we just make sure that we got to leave hands, we yeah. can't leave the shoulder okay. down. Um, but we're, we're not telling that guy, this doesn't need to be a deep clear block, you just got to get in his way. Okay. That's, and that's the thing, we almost we don't want to call this almost a crack block anymore. These guys get in their head that i got to deplete this guy, and then they put themselves in danger in a bad position with their head. Uh, put that other guy in danger of getting hurt. So as long as we're leading with hands, we're aiming for that shoulder, we're just making sure that we're not on his back. We tell him if he sees his back, then you're just standing there, just setting a pick on him, uh, like you do in basketball. Uh, but all we got to do is just make sure we get in that guy's way. What hurts us ever is if he's getting off the field fast. Um, and so that's where we've, we've cheated our alignment down with that X receiver when we're a single guy, or if we're in a 10 personnel like this, we really cheat that down. Make sure we got a good aim. Get him, he's not getting off the field. And if teams are doing that, then we got enough stuff off of that complimentary place we'll get to if they're shutting that down. Yeah, just an outstanding blocking manager. All right, so this is more a little bit more of what we look like now traditionally. So this is out of gun. We're going here. Our, again, we're not cracking yet. This is two years ago. Um, so we're going to stay number one here. We're going to take H out to this outside backer. Uh, we're going to reach the end, super backs out as well. And you can see this guy gets up field, so we end up kicking him out. So, uh, jet back just reads that blocking and cuts up the field. So here's an under center look now. Uh, this guy's going to ISO fake front side. It's going to hold this backer, so he's not getting flow. So we're really the only guys we got to worry about are end, outside backer, and corner. So we reach the end. He's got number two, he's got number one. Um, and we're off there on the edge. We don't get a great fake here by our super back. We want that guy, we want this guy full speed. Full speed through the hole. That's too slow. You can see it really holds, really holds number 34 here, that ISO fake. He's never going to get to the edge on our jet guy. So here's just this year now. So you can see our reduced split with our X. He's going to crack here, and we're going to lead out to corner. You get a little caught up here. He gets it off. He ends up getting off clean. He gets a rub here and gets out to corner. But we're going to crack out to corner. Uh, ISO fake is going to hold this inside back and lead to the edge. Here. Get up. All right, so I, I had to include these last two plays. This was from three years ago. This is probably our best team that we've had when I, since I've been at Stewartville. So this is a really good, well-coached team. Um, and they did a great job of shutting down our counter. They were keeping on this back. Um, they were really keen on our backs. And if this guy was going counter, they weren't buying the jet fake, and they were chasing this thing down. <coughs> so this week we schemed and said, okay, instead of sending this corner out, we're just going to have him run a counter fake and still give the jet, or H is still going to lead out, and that counter fake uh, is going to hold these two inside backers. We're going to we reach this tackle, we get up here. This guy really flies up field to stop the jet, so we end up kicking him with our H, and our receiver does a nice job of reading that and getting up the field. So then we played them. We played them again in the playoffs. 
knowing that we had shown just that counterfeit out of the back, so we wanted to make sure we really sold it. We really sold it well, and we we actually ended up doing a full counter scheme, and we pulled both guard and tackle along with our counter back selling counter. So everyone was running counter, uh, and just out here, number one and two <coughs> played seven in the box, manned up across. So we just had to get these two guys blocked. Everyone commits the counter. We still hand the jet. Uh, and this was early in the game. I think it was our first touchdown in the game. It went for uh, a big gain and kind of broke the broke the game open for us. So this is a good shot to see all. We'll get all seven box plus actually the safety to the hard work. All right. Anything on jet before we move forward? Okay. So our next. Um, this was up to probably the last year or two. Jet counter was our first kind of go-to complimentary play off of Jet. Uh, counter was just a good play for us in general, so it made sense to marry uh, Jet along with it. And so we'll have two ways we'll run it. We'll go uh, with our H-back uh, set up in the wing, which we'll run Jet out of a lot. That's a big thing, is make sure when you're, when you're packaging this stuff get together, whatever formations you're running jet out of, you got to run your complimentary plays out of that same pack. It's got to look the same voice. You know, well coached teams are going to get the film, they're going to key on that if they're teaching their backers, they're going to be calling that out and communicating that. So you got to run it out of the same looks um, to make it tough on them. So we'll run it two different ways. We'll have a wing back here. We normally would lead out on jet, but now we're going to pull him in our counter scheme. So our guard's going to pull kick, just traditional counter. Page is going to pull him through on the backside batter, backer. So just traditional counter, walking down with everybody. We'll still solve hard through. Big thing here is the fake. We've got to get this guy pull into that fake. Hopefully we can get a safety in the corner. These three defenders committing to that jet, because um, that we can handle everybody else in the box with our counter scheme. Uh, and then uh, just out of a, a little bit of a traditional guard tackle pull on the counter as well. Um, teams again, once we, two or three years there where this was our best play, this defensive end was getting upfield trying to stop Jet. Teams stopped having that guy do that because he wasn't making the play anyway. And if they saw a tackle pull, that defensive end was just getting in the hip pocket of that tackle and chasing him down and making the tackle on our side behind that counter. So we had to start sticking this H back in the backfield and pick up the backside end that counter to make sure he didn't chase that down. So we were running Jet out of that same package where H is in more of a plus. Uh, offset pullback position, he'll lead out on the jet, and then he'll just pick up the backside end up and hand the counter. Um, we do have an RPO built into this that we never got to this year. I'm um, we'll to this next year and build this in now, um, where we will read this inside backer. We're not worried about that jet fake, and the big thing when, when that jet back comes across too, we're t not telling our quarterback is not sticking that ball out. All right, we had, we've had a couple times where he has that jet back clips it and falls on the ground. So um, that quarterback's just seating the ball in his stomach. He's going to head and shoulder fake as that guy comes across to sell that thing, but we're not sticking the ball out. The jet back's going to sell the jet coming across, and then we're getting the ball in the front side hip of that running back as it comes through, and then we're just on that RPO. <coughs> so our eyes are going to be here on that inside backer. That jet's going to come through. We're going to stick the ball in the, in the super back's hip and read that guy. If he's probably talked to key guard, if he sees that guard pull, uh, he's going to commit, you know, uh, and try to shoot through one of these A gaps. We're counting on this backer coming up field, forcing on the jet. It's going to open up a big window for that slant right behind it. We crack with this receiver anyway all the time on jet, so it's already kind of built in to that scheme looking the same. So he's just going to run that same kind of crack motion and sit in that window. Um, and hopefully we can hit that receiver. Now, I don't have any film, we've never run it, but that's. Uh, All right, so a couple cut-ups here. Um, again, this is back to one of our 10 personnel. This is when we did not have to worry about having this uh, H back to pick up this backside, this backside end. So you'll see, um, or sorry, up here, we're going to counter back to the boundary. Uh, this guy just gets up the field trying to stop, to stop Jeff with pull guard and tackle uh, on counter. Everyone will see the flow that we get out of jet. It just, with the down blocks and everything up front, everyone's flowing to that jet and it just sets up great angles for our count on the back for an offensive line. Snow game, this is state semifinals. 
uh, three years ago, four years ago, 2014, up and we had snowstorm against Becker. These guys were the eventual state champs. But um, that first has an even front, so I want to give you another look as an odd front here. We're seeing a lot of odd fronts at the moment, you guys see, but we probably, three quarters of the defenses we play now, we got to head up hills. Um, and I think it's a little bit harder to run some gaps, game runs and stuff against that, depending on what you're doing. But, uh, so just against an odd front here when we run counter, um, we're just going to read that outside guy that's hanging out off the edge up top there. Um, but we still get a bunch of pull uh, with the jet motion. Those guys are slanting with a bunch against us, so they're slanting to the field a lot. Um, and so that we knew that, and so that set up again really good anchors for our counter. So we'll jet across, we get backers, everyone slanting with that, and then bring the counter back. All right, this was this year. Uh, I showed you that look where we had that plus back in the backfield. So now we're going to send our uh, H back here to this backside defensive end to make sure he doesn't chase the counter down from behind. We'll jet through. Um, we're going to pull guard, tackle, pick up backside end, and then counter back to the um, side. Uh, that's another thing you got to figure out too. Are you running jet a lot to the field? If you're running jet a lot to the field, then run your jet counter a lot back to the boundary. Because teams are going to key on you know, running jet a lot to the field. You can help help yourself out there and set that up and counter back to the boundary. Coach, are you using separate tags when you're going with a guard H or a guard? Yeah, we just, just have a stay call. Tackle. Yeah, we just take stay to the end of our counter. So we're on counter, counter stay. If we, if we take stay to the end of it, that tells our tackle to stay home. Our H guard pulls and leads and takes his job. Otherwise, we just call regular counter. It's guard and tackle. Jet through and keep it on the 